Hello, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the East of England and welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing by, um, I tend to talk about items that come up in the news and I kind of give my two cents worth. And yeah, so you're welcome to click the thumbs up, you're welcome to subscribe and you're welcome to comment. And today I wanted to talk about this video that's going around where um, a DJ has brought his set to a graveyard. Now, let me show you. Let's see if it comes up. Oh. It's going to take a little while to load. But anyway, what's happened is a bit... Okay. Yeah, I can't have the music play too long because I think it's a few seconds and then they start they start getting problems. But anyway, so these these people they decide after burying um, the, a friend called Catty that they are going to bring the set to the graveyard. How disrespectful is that for all of those people who are laid to rest? I hear that people were dancing on gravestones. I mean, how would they like it if their mother was put to rest there and they came in and saw somebody dancing on their mother's gravestone, on their mother's, you know, how would they like it? I don't know what's going on in people's heads. I mean, it's like they've lost all, all kinds of, they don't have no moral compass anymore. Okay, it's fine if you want to hold a party, rent a space like everybody else does and have it there. Or is this a way of not having to rent a space and you're going to now, is this setting a precedent for future funerals that, okay, bring the DJ to the graveyard. We'll have a rave at the graveyard. Is that what we, is that where we're heading? Don't have to pay anybody for, um, for a location. You don't have to buy food. People just turn up at the graveyard and they play music and people dance on the gravestones. I mean, I would be furious if I, if my mother was laid to rest in that graveyard and I came in to lay some flowers and somebody was dancing on her grave, I would be pissed. Don't they have any moral compass? I mean, what is going on in their heads? I mean, are you so desperate for a rave that it doesn't matter where you are, that you can't wait to go to a venue? Anyway, let me just um, read what it said. This is the moment. This is the daily record. This is the source. Uh, mourners hold impromptu rave at funeral with DJ set in cemetery. Video footage then shows the well-wishers busting a move after DJ set up his turntables in the middle of a graveyard. Now, what this is going to do, sadly, if they're not careful, is to minimise the people who can go to a funeral, just like COVID. Why don't people think? They just do things without thinking of the consequences. And they're not children, they're adults, big people. This is a moment a group of mourners started raving to an impromptu DJ set during a funeral. Loved ones had congregated at Witten Cemetery to say their final goodbyes to the deceased known as only as Catty last week. Video footage then shows the well-wishers busting a move after a DJ set after a DJ set up his turntables in the middle of the graveyard. Birmingham Live reports. Attendees dressed in black can be seen dancing around on other gravestones 
as loud music blares from portable speakers, with others filming the party on their phones. The clip, obtained by Burns is Grime, has split opinion, which is posting to social media, and has so far received 40,000 views in less than 24 hours. Some web users praised the unique tribute to the deceased, while others accused people of being disrespectful by dancing on people's graves. One person commented, What a lovely tribute. I'm sure Catty would be smiling down. Nice to see a proper celebration of someone's life. Another added, RIP my friend Catty. You had a send-off like no other. We love you. A third person wrote, A beautiful and fun-filled way to say goodbye to a loved one. Bringing your own DJ is brilliant too. What a send-off. One said, this looks like the most fun funeral ever. I'm sure your friend Catty would be proud. But others were not so sure, with one person commented, nah, I don't rate it. Look how many people's graves get stepped on. Another put, another put kinder, Effrey. I won't say the profanity. Um, still, when old Ethel turns up to water her late husband's flowers only to find 30 men strong stomping on her orchards. One person added, everyone deserves a good send-off, but levels of disrespect shown to others already at rest there feels real uncomfortable. That's why we have wakes. Dance till you can dance no more. Then... Don't be jumping on other people's loved ones' graves. Because with black people, we have a wake, which is an event nine days before the actual funeral, where people go and visit. They don't go and visit. They all congregate at one place. There's food, there's drink, there's people. Sometimes there's people talking about the deceased. But by and large, it's an excuse to have a party. That's, re that's, that's the truth of the matter. People who go there, they don't even have to know the deceased. Unless you just make it intimate and tell people not to tell anybody, I only want X, Y, Z at the funeral. Everybody comes from far and wide for a free party. Usually it's the place where you meet old friends. It's got nothing to do with the deceased at all. It's just an excuse to get together somewhere to go like a rave. Anyway, what do they continue? Is that it? I think that's it then. Um, yeah, another put, nah, I was always taught not to step on graves. It's disrespectful. Nice thought, just the wrong place. And that's my sentiment exactly. I think it's inappropriate to those who want to say goodbye quietly. I mean, why do you assume that just because you're black, you need to have a rave? It's not necessary. And if you want to have a rave, you do things in stages. You go to the church, you send off the person, you leave that time for people to put somebody to rest. Some people want a moment of solitude, a moment of quiet, a moment to reflect on, to reflect on the deceased. And then you have all this loud, loud music. And I bet you the DJ maybe didn't even know the deceased. Who knows? Maybe he did. But regardless of who knows who, maybe if she's a party girl, maybe that's why they said it was a brilliant send-off. But all I'm saying is, if you want a send-off, don't do it at the expense of other people later rest. Take it to another place where you can dance the night away and everybody understands that that is what they're there for. And that's all I've got to say, really. Bye-bye.